iNews Views, April 1st. There were sweeping changes made to China's vibrant social networking sites this weekend. Websites were closed and people were detained by authorities as party officials try to manage the political instability that has gripped China recently. Rumors of a coup quickly spread through cyberspace after Bo Chalet was removed as mayor. Xinhua News said that the sites would be open in a few days, but bloggers will have to use their real names when making posts. Seoul's large retailers will now have to be closed every other Sunday to comply with a new law passed by the city government to help prop up Korea's small and medium-sized retailers. Busan and other cities are expected to follow suit. Seoul is planning to set up a distribution chain to assist these smaller markets compete with the super super markets. At 8.30 p.m. local time, the world's landmarks went dark in honor of Earth Hour and its efforts to focus attention on climate change. Earth Hour is the largest mass event in support of the planet and now is celebrated in 147 countries. Reduction in energy usage is the theme of this global initiative. Avatar was a spectacular movie, but director Jim, James Cameron experienced his own adventure in an alien world when he took his one-man submarine to the Earth's deepest point, the Mariana Trench in the western Pacific Ocean. His trip took him seven miles down, but was cut short when a hydraulic leak made working at that depth difficult. Humans love to compete, and it's not just in baseball and soccer. There's a whole host of weird sports celebrated in every region of the earth. These brief, fun-filled interludes add a little spice to life's routine. Korean TV delivers a host of dramas to hungry viewers each week, but the new NBC show, The King Two Hearts, may be a blockbuster. The opening episode set the stage for future fighting, unification of the Koreas, and a palace romance between the South Korean prince and North Korean beauty. Every member of the family should have something to enjoy in this soap opera.